Good afternoon. I'm Carrie Wilson, Blind Potter. I'm giving a class today on extruding. I know you've seen videos on hand building and on wheel turning. This is another machine used with clay. They cost about $200 online and they're a lot of fun and you can be very creative with them. You put the die in for the size of hole you want. Oops, that's the hole. And then you fill this spot here with clay. Make sure you shove it way in so that there's no wear in it. Drop this little piece down. And then you pull on the handle. And Brittany's coming over to help because I'm not strong enough. Let me get on this side. All right. All right. Ready? Yeah, it's going to come out over here. Okay. So go ahead. <laughs> How do you do this? Okay, it's coming. Is it coming? Mm hmm. Whoa, it looks like a snake coming out. We got our snake. Break it off. Move the clay out to hit the table. We're making a turtle bowl today. I'm using this basket right here for the shape, for the size that I want. I sprayed a little bit of WD-40 in it. And you take the sponge and you dampen your clay. So that it will stick together. And you take this little and you just score it just a, ever so little. You don't want to score it deep. You just want to put a mark on it. Keep your fingers damp as you pick the clay up and put it in the bottom of this dish. Spin this little piece around to tuck it in and just start turning. Keeping your clay very damp, not soaked, just creating slip with it. And I do it inside the bowl with because of being visually impaired, I'm not able to see how big it needs to be on the table and then moving it to the dish. So I'm inside the bowl, spinning it around. Making the base.
after you get the bottom filled, just keep going up. The sides. And when you get to the end of the clay, just push it down flat, make sure it's all moist and stuck together. And if you need more clay, just open your extruder up. Clean out any excess that's still inside. and you will put some more clay in till you have the desired amount of coils to make your turtle. We ran out of coil. I'm gonna cut off some more clay Wire cutter is right, whoop, right there. Pull the bag down and just pull it across. And you will come and help me again to pull this handle down. Takes a lot of muscle. Didn't know you were going to get a workout, did you, Brittany? <laughs> and we got a snake again. Same thing. Take your sponge. Put it down. Score it. I know a lot of times, you know, they tell you to do a lot of little marks. 
but I find that doesn't help and it just weakens the clay. So just a little scoring here and there is all that's really re required. And when you start it back where you stopped at, where the other one completed at, be sure you press the ends together. And start again. And when you get to the top of the bowl, or as high up as you want to make it, just make sure you have wet the clay down really good. And if you need to put a little tiny piece in the center here, you finish filling in the hole. You can do that. And that's what the turtle bowl is going to look like on the inside. Now we need to make the head for it. And I will take some of the clay I have pushed out. Ball it up. And roll it out. Tap it down. And form the head. Take my cutter and right here, keeping my mouth. And then take my thumbs onto the side of the head and press in to make the indentations for his eyes and a little tiny bit of clay to go inside there. To make his eyes. Isn't he cute? And then you're gonna go inside the bowl, right here. And you're going to attach the head and the neck
when he's all dry, you fire him and you glaze him whatever color you want. He's great at a party, fills with little crackers or chips. And that going over the top of this makes it look like his shell. And everybody will be raving about how cute your turtle is. Thank you. This is my first video. Hopefully I will get better. Goodbye.